Hello everyone and welcome back to Pokemon Fire Red episode 29 I believe. In this episode we are going to tackle just the Cinnabar Island Gym. That is all we are going to do in this video. In the last video we completed everything in Pokemon Mansion, got all of the items which were a couple very powerful TMs. Uh, but we also were able to catch a Grimer and a Coughing. Uh, so that is good news. That's going to make our Pokedex go all the way up. We also got a Weezing, so that is good news as well. And I did just the worst bios for those. Just absolutely terrible, and I don't know why. Because I, I had a lot to say about those, and I just didn't say it. So anyways, let's continue on. We're going to go into Cinnabar. Now this, of course, is a fire, fire gym, so you're going to want to make sure that you have some Burn Heal. The hot-headed Blaine is a fire type Pokemon uh, pro. Douse the spirits with water, you'd better take some burn heals too. Alright, so there is a fun little mini-game here. These guys won't actually, these trainers, won't actually fight you uh, until you, you talk to them or you get this wrong. Pokemon quiz, get it right and the door opens to the next room. Get it wrong and you face a trainer. So I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you the trivia. Caterpie evolves into Metapod, yes. You get it right. You're absolutely correct. Go on through. The door opens, but you can still talk to them and fight them so that you don't lose experience, which is something that I recommend uh, if you want the experience. Now, the only problem is is that our Poseidon is going to just explode in levels. I mean, explode. So it's already level 43. Unfortunately, it's going to probably, by the time we actually get to Blaine, it's going to overpower his... Uh, most powerful. That's not totally true. That's not totally true. Alright, so he's gonna use Vulpix. He's got three Pokemon, so it might take a little while to get through this. We're gonna go ahead and use Surf. Down goes Vulpix. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So easy. It's just so easy. And a Ninetales, which of course is we're going to use Surf again, and it will be able to destroy him. It's just too easy. It's just... It's just so easy. Level 36 Ninetales went down. We're going to hit level 44, uh, Poseidon. Good job. Level 44, obviously look at his special attack. It's so huge. It's so huge. I surrender. We'll get 6,336 Poke Dollars for winning because Vaporeon still has the amulet coin. So this is weird. There's two. Ac there's actually two trainers here. You can skip both of them by doing this trivia. Get it right and the door opens to the next room. Get it wrong and face a trainer. If you want to conserve your Pokemon for the gym literally there. All right. There are nine certified Pokemon League badges. No, there's only eight. You're absolutely correct. Go on through. We're, of course, we're going to not do that. We're going to fight these guys. Do you know how hot Pokemon Fire Breath can get? Not as hot as my breath on your ear. Alright, so we're going to take down his Vulpix with a Surf, as always. Uh, this is what this gym's going to be. You can leave now if you want, because you already know what's going to happen. We're literally just going to surf our way to victory. Like Hawaiians. I just, I know, I know that there's surfing in Hawaii. So... Like Alola! Like Raichu and Alola. <laughs> I'm gonna stop now. I'm gonna stop. I'm just bored of using Surf. And we get uh, not a lot of Poke Dollars for that. All right, let's talk to this guy next. And uh, you guys aren't gonna guess how we're gonna defeat him. But I think we're gonna use Surf. Nerd, Super Nerd Avery, that's my roommate's name. Alright, so he's going to send out a Ponyta. We are just going to destroy it with a good old-fashioned Surf. Alright, I'm, I'm going to go I'm gonna go through. I'm going to go through really quickly. We're going to Surf. There you go. Uh, he's going to use a Vulpix. We're going to Surf again. We're going real quick now because because I don't, I, don't want, I don't want you guys to have to sit there watching me use Surf over and over and over. Level 45. Alright. Already hit level 45. So we're going to go ahead and... Uh, you know, I'm actually curious if I can use PP up on Surf. Can I use PP up on Surf? Oh wow! For some reason, I was under the impression that you couldn't actually. Oh shit! Uh, no, that's fine. Ice Beam is fine. I was under the impression that you couldn't actually use PP up on HM moves. Cool. All right, let's continue. 
So we have this next trivia, which is going to be pretty easy. Pokemon quiz, get it right and the door opens, as we have seen. Poliwag evolves three times. Technically, that is true, but in this game, no, it's not true. So it evolves to from from Poliwag to Poliwhirl and then and then Poliwrath, but it also has Politoed now, so it's a it's a difficult question. I like using Fire type Pokemon. I just do. Okay, good talk, dude. All right, so Burglar Raymond's going to send out one Ponyta, so I'm not going to speed through this because I don't need to. Uh, we're just going to hit it with a Surf level 41. This should be able to take it down in one hit. Ponyta is a pretty frail Pokemon. All right. A little worried about getting to blame. To be honest with you. Burglar Ramen Ramen is defeated. Too hot to handle. 7,216 Poké Dollars. It's pretty good. Next next trivia. Let's see here. Pokemon Quiz. Get it right and the door opens, as always. Okay. Here we go. Are electric moves effective against ground-type Pokemon? No. You're absolutely correct. Go on through. I love how easy these trivia questions are, too. It's like, oh, I know why Blaine became a trainer. Literally didn't ask. Super Nerd Derek is gonna send out Rapidash. I know some Derricks. They're just kind of douchebags. They're not really. They're not really. Uh, not really nerds. All right, Rapidash rose his speed, even though he didn't need to because he already outspeeds me. It's a dumb thing, and we were able to destroy a Rapidash, which is Ponytail's evolution, uh, level 41, one hit. Super Nerd Derek. Now, the good thing is is that Blaine's highest Pokemon is level 47, so I actually think that finally we will be out-leveled by, uh, by a Pokemon gym leader. Alright, next trivia question. Pokemon of the same kind and level are not identical. Yes, that is valid because of EVs and IVs and all of that other stuff. And we will go ahead. I've been to many gyms, but this one best suits my style. Burglar Dusty would like to battle. He's going to send out a Vulpix. All right, let's just surf that. Level 37. Uh, and a Growlithe. I'm speeding through again because there's no point not to. Uh, it's just using surf over and over. All right, and finally, we've made it. Oh, we haven't made it to Blaine. For some reason, I was thinking this was the last room before Blaine. Get it right, and the door opens to the next room. Get it wrong and face a trainer. If you want to conserve your... Blah, blah, blah. Here we go. TM28 contains Tombstoney. No. The move Tombstoney does not exist in this game. All right, we'll go ahead. Fire is weak against H2O. You could just say water. All right, we'll go ahead and destroy him. He's gonna use Vulpix. Oops. Uh, we'll use Surf again, and that's it. Wow, easy peasy. Okay, finally, we've made it to Blaine. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually, I don't even know if I need to. I was gonna use an ether. But I might not need, you know what, I'm going to use an ether just because, but, uh, really, I don't have to. Okay, so we restored the PP, let's take on Blaine. Ha! I am Blaine, the red-hot leader of Cinnabar Gym. My fiery Pokemon are all rough and ready with intense heat. They incinerate all challenges. You better have a burn, heal. Uh-huh, Blaine, I'm going to destroy you in literally one hit, all of your Pokemon. All of your Pokemon. All right, so he's gonna send out a Growlithe. This is level 42 with the ability Intimidate, so don't start off with a physical attacker. It knows the moves Bite, Roar, Tick Down, and Fire Blast. Fire Blast, oh shit. Fire Blast is his exclusive move. Unfortunately, I used Ice Beam there, so he's actually probably going to use Roar. Um, or he used Tick Down, that's fine. Tick Down's fine. Okay, uh, I meant to use Surf, but what are you gonna do? So, Fire Blast is Blaine's signature move. It's going to be the TM that he gives you. It's a wonderful, wonderful move. Uh, something that is probably worth teaching to your your Charizard if you have one. Uh, Poseidon grew to level 46. Luckily, we are still going to be out-leveled. Next, he has Ponyta level 40 with the moves Flash Fire. Don't hit it with any Fire-type moves. Stomp, Fire Spin, Bounce, and Fire Blast. Bounce is an interesting move. It acts like Fly, uh, for those, but isn't obviously Fly. It's a, it's a neat move for Ponyta to have, new to this generation. Stomp is also pretty powerful. We'll be able to defeat him. And finally, a Rapidash. Uh, I don't know why I said finally. He still has a Pokemon after that. So Rapidash is level 42 with Flash Fire as well. Don't hit it with Fire moves. Stomp, Bounce, Fire Spin, Fire Blast. Same exact set as his Ponyta, except it's a Rapidash and it's a little bit higher level. We'll still be able to kill it in one hit. 
And his final Pokemon, which is his most powerful and is more powerful than us, which is good, is Arcanine. Arcanine is level 47 with uh, the ability Intimidate, so don't use any physical attackers. Has Bite, Roar, Takedown, and Fire Blast. Not the best set for a Growl, uh, an Arcanine, but pretty good nonetheless. Uh, I, wow, was not expecting to one-shot. Uh, one shot Arcanine there, but what are you gonna do? And we got 2,000 experience for defeating him. Leader Blaine is defeated. I have burned down to nothing. Not even ashes remain. You have earned the Volcano Badge. And we got 9,400 Poke Dollars for winning. Ha! The Volcano Badge heightens the special stats of your Pokemon. Here, you can have this too. And we will receive Trium 38 from Blaine, which is going to be Fire Blast. It's the ultimate fire technique. Don't waste it on water Pokemon. Cool. All right, so if we actually just go ahead and I'll just show you, um, since we have a starter that can actually use use Fire Blast, I'll actually show you uh, what it is. So TM38, Fire Blast. It's 120 base move with 85% accuracy. 5 PP, the foe is hit with an intense flame. It may leave the target with a burn. Um, I'm actually curious. Luna can learn it as well, which is not a huge deal. Should a move be deleted and, uh, yes. So we're actually going to get rid of Metal Claw and get Fire Blast. Occasionally we'll run into Pokemon that, um, we don't really need Metal Claw. We'll occasionally run into Pokemon that will survive a Flamethrower but won't survive a Fire Blast. So if we hit them with a Fire Blast, like I say, a really strong Venusaur, um, it'll just be over. You know, we don't have to worry about it. So that's it. We now have seven. Pokemon badges, which is wild. We are nearing the end of our journey here in Pokemon Fire Red, which is pretty, pretty incredible. As soon as you leave Cinnabar Island Gym, though, huh, hey, if it isn't Cory. Look, it's me, Bill, long time no see. I hope you're still using my PC system. There's no other system, so yeah. Well, listen, since we met up here, how about spending time with me? There's this little island in the far south called One Island. A friend invited me, so I'm on my way out there. How about it? Do you feel like coming with me? No. What, are you too busy? Well, all right. The boat hasn't arrived yet anyway. I'll be waiting at the Pokemon Center over there. Come see me when you're done with your business here. So that is where our journey will continue. Uh, we can't actually go to the next place yet, which is new. Um, in the original games, this did not exist. Bill was not here. Bill did not come talk to you. Bill did not take you to one island. This is a new little section, uh, which also means that it will have access to our... Um, uh, our post-game stuff is going to be in the actual islands. You know, I think we still have time, so let's actually talk to Bill. Hey, you kept me waiting. Ready to set sail? Yes. Well, that's it. Let's go. And we will just automatically follow him. We're going to head to one island. And in the next video, we're going to explore one island and see what it has to offer. Looks like my pal's boat arrived, too. He sent it specially here to Cinnabar to pick me up. I love how we're taking a private yacht to one island. It's a speedboat, too. Awesome. Here we are. This is one island. There are several islands around here, and this is one of them. My friend Celio sent the boat to fetch me here. He's in charge of the island's PC network. Why am I telling you this now? Let's just go see Celio. Celio? Chelio? Chelio! Look at this PC. It's huge. Hey there, Celio. Bill, I can't believe you came out here. Well, absolutely. How's your research coming along? Oh, wait a second. Corey, this is my buddy Celio. He's one dedicated PC maniac. Celio, this is Cory, a rising contender as the Pokemon champ. That's really impressive. I hate to say it, but I have zero aptitude for battling. Anyways, I'm glad to meet you. So bring me up to speed. How's your machine running? It's running fine, but we're too remote out here. The PCs on this island just can't link with your PC, Bill. Oh, yeah. Okay, let me take a look-see. Hang on there. I think we can make it work. Let me help you, okay? Cory, can I get you to wait for me just a bit? Actually, can I get you to do me a favor? The island next to this one is called Two Island. There's a guy there that runs a game corner. He has this thing for rare rocks and gems. We keep in touch being fellow maniacs. So, can I get you to deliver this meteorite to him? We'll get a meteorite to deliver to this random dude. Corey, if you're going to Two Island, please take this. We get the Tri Pass, which will allow us to go to One Island, Two Island, and Three Island. It's a pass for the ferry service circuit to the local islands. It will let you travel between the islands one, two, and three. Oh, you should have this too. And we will receive an extra page for the town map, meaning that we now have an access to a map for uh, this this area. Now, it's interesting because you can't actually fly from these islands to, say, uh, the mainland. Pallet Town. I don't know it. 
So these people do not know this area. This island is a massive volcano. That's actually important to note. I wish I could trade Pokemon with my boyfriend who lives far away. Uh-huh. You'll be able to soon, girl. So this is actually how you, you have to come to one island. They have to fix the PC for you to be able to, um, to, to, uh, trade to the third generation games. So right here is Kindle Road, which is a new route that we're not going to actually tackle in this video. I just wanted to get here to one island so I could show you. And that is it for me in this episode. Uh, please leave a comment below telling me your experiences with Blaine. Have you ever had trouble with Blaine? I know that I usually start with Squirtle as my starter. My voice is dying. So I usually start with Squirtle and I've never had any issues with Blaine. He's always been super easy. By this point in the journey, you have a full team. I've never had any issues. Sabrina is typically the only one. Sabrina and Koga are typically the only ones that I've ever had trouble with. Let me know in the comments below. And remember, everyone, never give up, never surrender.